Konnichiwa YouTubers, this is Red Talk Straight from Point Magoo, California. And today we're going to do a video review of Transformers United Arc Unicron. This is actually a redeco of a Cybertron Unicron from back in 2006. And actually it's a deluxe class and I'm already going to dock points for that. Because it's packaged in a Voyager class figure. And at least here in Japan, that thing cost, well not in Japan, it cost 50-60% to 60 more than a deluxe figure. So boo on Takara Tomy for that. But hey, let's take a look at the box. So, uh, I'll, I usually I do like the figures because they're nicely repainted and they have better plastic in my opinion. But this is what I like about the package. It's not pretentious. It's rectangular for, for crying out loud. It doesn't have any cut out notches. The hyper realistic scene that I totally love. And as you can see the dude's stat is through the roof. Yeah, so yeah, it has a mode gimmick. Uh, yeah, the Cybertron key. Big whoop. Yeah, light up eyes. Good. Bottom of the box. Top of the box if you need to see that. Oh yeah, here's the other side of the box. Uh, have I got all six sides? I don't know. Let's go ahead and show you this. And yeah, this is distinctly Cybertron. Uh, the, back in the day, because I, I love the wheels. I love the wheels on it. You can tell the plastic wheels on that. It, 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 it's just neat. It doesn't have any front wheels. The tank treads don't move, but of course it has these little tiny wheels, of course. So underneath, it's not that bad. Uh, kind of empty. I mean, it's big. Looks like it's going to be a Voyager class, but when you see from underneath, it's a lot of empty spots. So it looks big, no doubt. I mean, but not so much. It rolls. It does what it does, and it also comes with a cannon. Cannon does swivel. And of course shoots, there we go, <laughs> had to do that, has this little satellite receiver thing over here in the back, I mean, it, it is what it is, it's functional, it's colored nicely, I like the little red in the back, uh, you can see the dude's head from the top, and I like piping as always, so from the top, not bad, I mean, it, it's a mini whatever, and we put the little Cybertron key in the back, and watch out for this gimmick, yeah, oh. new guns exposed, so yeah. So yeah, so whoa, yeah. it is what it is. Uh, very average. So I'm doc. I was gonna give it a seven, but I'm docking it a point for being not a Voyager class figure. <laughs> Those are the breaks. False advertising. I, I I do like the wings though. The wings are kind of neat. The molding is neat. Very reminiscent of Cybertron. Uh, I like the color here, the translucent. It is translucent, and I happen to have that. There we go. Yeah, translucent. Very nice. Of course, I'm going to dock it for not being a deluxe class figure. Or, rather, Voyager class. Transformation is relatively simple, and the wings do pop off. And one of the things we're going to do is take off those wings, because they're not going to be very necessary. So, one of the first things we do. No problem, because they're this mode is awesome so first thing we're going to do is just go ahead and flip up that and we're going to button that together all right so we got that and rotate the waist all right so that's going to be ending up oh yeah the front pieces also come off and this is kind of weird so let me see did i lose a front piece already what's wrong with me oh well not to worry. Transformation is fairly simple. We're going to move the arms, separate that. All right, pop that out. And I forgot that this little 50 cal thing does rotate. Okay, I do like the big gun. It rotates up and down. All right, so we're gonna set that to the back like that, originally like that, bam. All right, this thing just clinches in. And this thing right here just collapses. See that? collapses down right so after you rotate it this little thing you see that tab right there that little piece just rotates down and will actually snap that back this tabs should tab right in there but it does not <laughs> it just lays down so easy enough there's that I mean it tabs out right just fine but you know just fold it down all right, so you can see the legs. We're just gonna fold that out. We're gonna put the Cybertron wings here. He's got these huge little things on his knees. Uh, fold out, I like the tab on for the heel spurs. So fold up his feet up, heel spurs back. So you got some support there. All right, the arms, which I don't like, don't tab in. So you just move them up and they click in. Very Energon, or Cybertron-esque. 
tab up. They don't tab in, but they do click in very solidly. All right, looking good so far. Oh, there's the other piece. Good. All right. Um, head just pops down, rotate, and that's it. Looking mighty. Very deluxe class size. Don't be fooled. And just so uh, you can get that out of the way, the light piping. Just love that. Very evil looking. All right. Oh, yeah. The hands, duh. Pop that out. Oh, yeah, I got to rotate it. There we go. It's same thing on that side. Pop that out. These are the tank treads. Just like that. Not a bad figure. And of course these weapons, they do become underslung. What I mean by that is that you can put them here. Uh, sorry. See if I get this right. I always mess this up. I think the, the bigger weapons go on the top there. So you can just go ahead and tab in his little unicron looking thing like that. And excuse me if I don't get this right the first time. Okay. No, this tabs in. Yeah, this tabs in out of the way. And just like that. And one of these pieces just tab into the back right there. So there you go. I'm not going to do the other hand because it's essentially the same thing. So you got these three pieces. They're that's really how they store them as a weapon. So he's got two bladed weapons. Maybe I'm just a softie and do it for the other hand. Just cause, you know, why not? So yeah, he's got... There we go. Yeah, John Woo style. Maybe fix that a bit. Jacking this up. Yeah, don't really need that. Alright. Enough about that. <laughs> Let's see, for a size comparison, we can put the legs out of the way. They're supposed to be. Uh, they do collapse back, so there we go. Out of the way. As you can see, kind of flimsy, but not bad. Here he is for a size comparison. Ay, ay, ay. ay. <laughs> Boy, I'm just not having luck today. I'll just set it over here so he's not collapsing all over the place. There's my boy Megatron, and his feet is weird too. That's probably what the deal is. As you can see, very, very, what you call it? Very average size, very deluxe size class. There he is with a true Voyager size class. All right, so you can see the difference. They shortchanged me, but the mode is very nice. Oh, I forgot about the articulation. Yeah, look, now that you got the size comparison out of the way, head does swivel. It's not on a ball joint, it just swivels. Arms swivel, or sorry, just rotate. It swivels out, bicep swivel. All right, wrist don't swivel. Single joint on the elbow. Waist articulation, so that's good. Ball jointed hip. It does have a thigh swivel, but for what it's worth, you know. Single jointed knee, weird looking thing, weird looking thing over here. And of course the swivel joint on the foot and the ankle. So it's not bad for articulation. Alright, the robot road mode is definitely cooler. I'll give it a 7 out of 10. Alright, YouTubers, that's all I got. And I'll catch y'all next time.